Hello everyone, this is Iamin and welcome to Aptech Knowledge. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can insert some data to our database table in PHP. So here you can see we have an admission form over here and we have some input field called name, email, phone and message and we're going to insert those data to our database table. So for it, first of all, we need to create a table so that we can insert those data. So let's go to our database and over here you can see my database name is school project and we are going to create a table over here. So over here you can see create table written over here and just below it we have a name input field. So over here we will say our table name let's say it will be admission and the number of column will be 5. Uh, let me just tell you uh, one will be ID name email phone and message that's why a total number will be 5. So at the right side, you can see a go option, just click on it and it will create a table called admission. So right now over here, we need to mention our column name. So let's say here ID, then here we'll say name. After it, we'll say email, then it will be phone and the last one will be message. So we need to also mention the input type for the first one id input type will be integer and we'll make it primary key so over here you can see ai ai means auto increment and here you can see a box option if i just click it it will make the id primary key if i just click it over here you can see it's written over here primary so let's go on the left and for name we'll use varkar Let's say the length will be, uh, let's say 30. For email, we'll also use Barker. Let's say the length will be, let's say uh, 38. I'm just giving some random number. And for phone, uh, let's say it will be integer. And let's say the limit will be 20. And message, it will be Barker. And let's say length will be 50. So over here, you can see null index. Let me just check on them. So we'll also accept null data for those entries. Okay, I think everything is done. So right now we'll uh, go down and if we on the right corner, uh, you'll see a save option, just click on it. And here you can see our table admission over here. If I just click on it, you can see ID name, email, phone and message. So right now we'll go back to our code and write some code so that we can insert those data over here. So let's go back and here you can see right currently we are now in the index.php and if I go down here you can see admission form written over here and here you can see a form and inside this form we have name, email, phone and message and the apply button here. So first of all here you can see name is equal to null. So let's, let me just say over here name is equal to name and here email will be email. The name will be email for phone the name will be phone and for message we use text area and for it the name it will be message so right now at the top here you can see a form so inside this form we need to mention action then we need to mention the method now the method it will be post because we want to upload some data to the database and action over here let's say it will be data underscore check dot php so what we'll do is that we'll create data underscore check dot psc file and write some code so that we can upload all those data to our database or table so before that here you can see uh, we have the submit button over here here you can see so we also going to mention over here name it will be uh, let's say name will be apply okay so let's save it so right now we'll create this data underscore check dot php file so let me just right click over here and then here i'll click new file then i'm going to say data underscore check dot php control s then save so inside it uh, first of all we need to connect our database over here you can see that our database uh, name is school project so first of all we need to connect this space to our database so here first we need to give this uh, sign over here psp tag actually um, and inside this we are required to write our php code so inside this first i am going to declare a variable called dollar host is equal to it will be local host then we are going to say over here dollar user is equal to 
it will be root then we will say dollar password it will be null and the last one it will be dollar db dollar db over here we are going to mention our database name which was school project school project uh, this database name is actually this one and we need to write it exactly like this so after this all you have to do is that declare another variable let's say dollar data is equal to mysql i connect underscore connect then we'll give two fast bracket and inside it we are going to mention all those variables so let me just copy it control c control v so after host we will say dollar user then comma dollar password and the last one is dollar db so give a comma and dollar db so once we write this line it means we are connected to our database if you want to check it you can do it as well all you have to do is that give a if condition if uh, let me say over here dollar data triple equal false here you can see dollar data this dollar data is actually this one we are going to say that here uh, inside this we will say connection connection error so if there is any error then we will get a error message so let's go back to our browser and let me just refresh and if i just click apply here you can see there is no error but let me just uh, change the database name to this one school project to save it if i now refresh it will give us a error that uh, unknown database my uh, unknown database school project 2 so let me just fix the database name save let me just refresh here again okay there is no error now let's go back so right now uh, we'll write some code over here so that we can upload those data to the table so in the index.php here at the downside here we mention uh, name is equal to apply writes and at the top we say over here in this form we say method will be post so in this data underscore check dot php we are going to give a if condition if we will say if set then inside it we will say dollar underscore post then we will give two third bracket and inside it we will give two single quotation and over here you can see that uh, for this submit button here name is equal to apply so we are going to say over here apply so let me just explain it uh, what is actually happening is that here you can see uh, over here you can see the apply button so if someone click this apply button only then we will execute this if condition so uh, we'll uh, write some code over here let's over here dollar name now this is the variable we are declaring over here uh, you can declare any name over here and let me just go to index.php and over here you can see that we said over here name is equal to name right so over here we'll say dollar underscore post and inside this single condition we are going to say name and this name is actually coming from index.php from here uh, okay some of you may get confused with this name and this name so let me just say over here uh, let's say over here data underscore name so this is just a variable that uh, you can declare you can name it anything you want so let me just uh, copy this on control c and i'm going to paste it on two three times so after name we have the email phone and the message over here so here i'm going to say email equal to dollar underscore post email after email let's say over here phone equal to dollar underscore post phone and the last one was message equal to dollar underscore post message uh, let me just explain you again here you can see this part dollar underscore post message this is actually coming from here and over here this is just a variable that we declare so after this line all you have to do is that write a sql query over here let me just declare another variable we will say dollar sql is equal to we will give two double quotation and end it with a semicolon and inside it we are going to say insert into and let me just show you my database uh, table name over here you can see our table name is admission over here so we are going to say over here admission 
and you need to write it exactly you write in the database so after admission we'll give to first bracket and inside it we are going to say name comma email comma phone comma message now all those data here you can see name email phone and message all of those things is actually this one and you need to write those exactly you write over here so after this we are going to say here values then we'll give two first bracket and inside it we'll give two single quotation and here we uh, you can see that we mentioned dollar data name so let me just copy it and i'm going to paste it over here so here you can see name uh, this name is coming from the database and over here you can see this name is actually this one so after it we are going to give a comma and here we write email so here i'm just going to copy this one and give two single quotation and inside it i'm going to say dollar data underscore email then i'll give another comma another single quotation and let me just uh, copy this phone number control v and the last one is message so i'm going to give another comma another single quotation and i'm just going to copy this one control c then control v so once you write this query uh, it means we are inserting those data over here in the table admission so after it we only require to on one line uh, let me just declare another variable we'll say dollar result is equal to mysql like query and inside it first of all here you can see at the top we connect uh, to our database over here and we store this in the dollar data variable so i'm just going to say over here inside this mysql like query i'm going to say dollar data comma over here you can see we write the sql query over here so we are just going to say over here dollar comma dollar sql so once you write this line it means all the data will be inserted to our table so once the data is inserted to our table we should uh, show us a message that the upload is success so we are going to give a if condition and inside this if we, we are going to say dollar result it means if the upload is successful then we'll go to this if condition if the upload is not successful then we'll go to s condition and let me say over here echo let's say our apply failed and let me just copy this one control c control t let's say here apply success let's save it and let me just go over here let's refresh okay let me just say over here uh random name let's say yamin uh let's say yamin at the rate of gmail.com let's say phone number random phone number and let's just give a random message let's click apply okay here you can see apply success now if i go to my database and if i just refresh here we can see the data that we just inserted now instead of uh success message like this uh we i want to i want to have a pop-up success message so for it uh instead of echoing we're just going to say something else so in this if condition we are going to say dollar underscore session then we'll give third bracket and inside it we are going to let's say message is equal to we'll say let's say your application sent successful so let me just give a comma over here semicolon over here and after it we want to show this message in the index.php not data underscore check dot php so for it we'll say here header and inside it we'll give uh double quote to double quotation and we'll say location location then this semi then this clone will say index dot php let's save it and one more thing is that since we are using dollar underscore session so we need to add session at the top so let me just show our here we'll say our here session start underscore start like this so once you write this it means we'll be able to send this message to our index.php so let's go to our index.php and right now here you can see this is the form and we'll just directly go to at the top of index.php and here i'm going to write a uh, write this php php tag and inside it we're going to write some php code so first of all uh, let me just show our here error reporting it will be zero then we need to say over here session start then we'll say session destroy so after it we are going to check if there is any message from uh data underscore check if there is any message from here so we are going to say over here if 
we are going to say dollar underscore session and here i'm going to say message so here we are going to checking if there is any message from here so if there is any message what we are going to do is that we will declare a variable let me say our head dollar message is equal to dollar underscore session message which is actually uh, this one the same thing uh, i just write over here so after it i'm just going to say over here echo will give to double quotation and inside it i am going to say script opening and script closing and here we will say type uh, type is equal to we need to give two single quotation uh, if you give give double quotation it will give us an error so we need to give two single quotation over here so we will say text slash javascript so inside it i am just going to say over here uh, let me just say it over here alert alert is actually a javascript function so i'm going to say over here dollar message this dollar message is actually this one then if you go to our browser then refresh okay there is no error over here now let me say over here let's say shakil let's give the email let's say shakil at the top gmail.com and let's give the random phone number and let's say message will be i want to get admission okay that's fine okay now i'll just click this apply button so here you can see it says your application says successful if i click okay it return us back to over here so if you are using chrome browser the pop-up message will show at the top and i'm using firefox right now that's why the message look like this so if i go to my database here you can if i refresh over here here we can see we have new entry over here here you can see i want to get admission message over here so this is how you can input data in database in php so i hope this tutorial was helpful and if anyone face any problem then let me in the comment section i'll try to give you as easy solution as possible and if you want to appreciate me then please subscribe this channel like this video and comment below so thanks for watching stay tuned and stay healthy